Wound healing is a normal part of life. Extracellular matrix production and deposition is a critical step in normal wound healing. However, if this step is uncontrolled or impaired, it can lead to the pathological process known as fibrosis. In many diseases affecting different organs, uncontrolled fibrosis results in formation of scar tissue that can ultimately lead to tissue and organ dysfunction and even death. Examples include idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, diabetic nephropathy, chronic heart failure, and pancreatic and other cancers. It has proven difficult to slow or reverse fibrosis in these conditions. In fact, for most patients with these diseases, therapeutic options are limited. Today, we are highlighting a novel agent from Fibrogen that we believe has the potential to slow or even reverse fibrosis. Fibrosis is a complex process that involves dozens of mediators, including growth factors, proteolytic enzymes and their inhibitors, angiogenic factors, fibrogenic cytokines, inflammatory mediators, structural proteins, toll-like receptors, and inflammatory cells, as well as myofibroblasts and extracellular matrix proteins. Myofibroblasts differentiate from cellular precursors, proliferate, become activated and secrete extracellular matrix proteins, and are thus critically involved in fibrosis. With so many factors contributing to the process of fibrosis, it is challenging to determine which should be therapeutically targeted. Scientific advances have identified a central mediator of fibrosis, known as connective tissue growth factor, or CTGF. CTGF is a rational potential target for antifibrotic therapy because it serves as a central mediator of many molecular signals that drive fibrosis. Although fibrosis is complex, it progresses in a stepwise manner, with pathophysiological insults triggering upstream signals that in turn stimulate downstream effects that lead to fibrosis. Upstream signals of fibrosis are produced by a number of mediators, including TGF-beta, integrins, angiotensin II, and others. CTGF transmits these signals by stimulating three types of downstream pro-fibrotic effects. First, CTGF increases the accumulation and activation of myofibroblasts. Second, CTGF increases expression, deposition, and maturation of the extracellular matrix proteins, collagen and fibronectin. And thirdly, CTGF upregulates TGF-beta and other mediators of fibrosis. On top of all these effects, CTGF participates in several pathological cycles that drive fibrosis. This scientific understanding of CTGF has potential clinical relevance because CTGF is overexpressed in many fibrotic disorders, including idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. How does CTGF exert its effects on tissues? CTGF, despite its name, is not a growth factor that binds a specific receptor. CTGF is secreted by cells and interacts with various molecules to exert its pro-fibrotic effects. A key question is, can CTGF be therapeutically targeted to reduce fibrosis? Introducing Pamrevumab, a human monoclonal antibody developed by Fibrogen that specifically binds CTGF. Pamrevumab works by neutralizing the activity of CTGF molecules. Pamrevumab reduces tissue levels of functional CTGF and shifts tissues towards normal healing and away from pathologic fibrosis. These effects have the potential to restore tissue structure and function and therefore suggest Pamrevumab may serve as an effective therapeutic agent. Therapeutic options for patients with diseases in which fibrosis plays a primary role are very limited. Fibrogen is developing Pamrevumab, a promising novel agent that targets CTGF, a central mediator of fibrosis in multiple diseases. 
Pemrevlima is currently in clinical trials for the treatment of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and pancreatic cancer. Fibrogen, at the intersection of pioneering science and patient need. Learn more at Fibrogen.com.